me. Say something in the chat. Alright, cool, cool. Let me see if my phone will turn. Please, the chat. Oh, okay. Let me do something about that. Uh, what I go here. Uh, how about now? I'll keep talking a bit, but yeah, I'm trying out streaming on here and. Wanting <laughs> uh, my phone to rotate the chat. That'd be nice. Alright, definitely better. That's, you know, better than nothing. Alright, let's get to it. Ah, I can't wait to actually see how this game looks and runs on a system meant to run it. Ah, also, try not to be too loud just because of the time of night, but it's a weird setup, but yeah. I am excited for this. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, wake up. Huh. I've tried doing this game on, uh, on my PC. Can't really r run it that well, but I would see that sometimes shoot off in that direction. I 
I just really love how this game looks. Adore the little alien dudes. <laughs> Having a cheeky Nando. A cheeky Nando. Could leave on the first solo voyage. Fix the red, re retro rockets. <laughs> All right. Also, must get marshmallow toasted. Ah. On. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big extend stick. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah, you have to hold to jump. Also, ah, oh, the flowers look so nice when they're not. When everything's not chugging along, along, trying to run. Let's see how this goes on a controller. Because I know on the trying on the keyboard, it just kinda of threw me off a bit that there's no like uh picture y'all. Okay. That's absolutely uh, okay, I'm trying to get fancy here. All right, but I, I think I've got it. All right, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, the shadow is a bit weird. Wait, no, there's fall damage to this game. Ow. But I'm alive. Less delicious that point. Daunting digestive challenge. That's oof. Oh, um, I mean I, let's it, 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 I think it did. Let me show it off again. As long as no one judges me. <laughs> Real light. They don't explode as often. Yay, this doesn't crash anymore. Also, I just love how everything's kind of, you know, the whimsical rustic charm of spaceships being made of, uh, you know, wood and all that. Really great.
<laughs> how how has these people not died yet if so much of if they work with the flammable? It's great. Also, is it night again? Of a short day. Nice. Capro's flute. Is that it? Both expecting it to be night again so soon. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, I didn't die from jumping in here, which is good. I was very afraid of that. Oh wow, that's really loud. I can like lower the volume on my headset. <laughs> the Nando's <laughs> are cheeky. Nice. the waterfall, yeah. Um, you know what? Because the audio's been a bit loud... Well, that's music volume. I guess I'll put it down a little bit. Thank you, waterfall. Still very loud though. Oh, I hate that. Danger! Inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter. Strange, dangerous substance visible to naked eyes. Good news that you can deck ghost matter with the camera. Cool. Moving through growth. <laughs> Gross matter. Ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Or fells. That's. Oh, and here's the camera.
ghost orb. Yeah, yeah, now what I need to is good in this. Let's bring that back up to default. I Um, yeah, let's poke around here. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that. Broken mining equipment. Let's not concuss herself. Hooray! Give me the dirt. Crash outside the village crater earlier. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a fuel, but I don't have, like, I don't know if the, uh, <laughs> the dirt handed over. I thought there was a... Ah! I saw something. I thought I did. I thought I could activate that winch. Oh, well. <laughs> Out of wilds. Firewatch. Alright. Uh, okay, they made this way easier than I thought it would be.
Oh, this, okay, this is kind of weird. But I can... Okay, guess I must have accidentally let go. That would have... Alright, so even with my floundering about, I used up only about... so much fuel. I should probably put this back, right? Nice. Let's stop you. Yeah. It helps you just kind of stick with it, which is really generous. And I guess it makes sense, so that it's easier to play Especially, you know, on a controller. <laughs> Without it being like a flight simulator. And yeah, it's, I guess it's a hollow planet? Oh. Accidentally skipped that. Nicely done. Of course, it'd be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get the launch codes from the observatory. Get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try avoid getting yourself killed now that you put so much time in tra <laughs> into training you. Got it. Oh. Um. I don't like this. Uh, no, ex excuse me real quick. Let me just uh, take a screenshot of this. Because, uh... Mm, like the planets. Are. Uh, where's the? Uh, there it is. And yeah, I didn't know. It'd let me just jump in there. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day is at last, huh, buddy? It's a translator tool, uh, tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going to space. How you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've been waiting for this day since you were hatching. Since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? Uh... 
statue. Like, but I guess this is... Okay, close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like that fur. Fur's weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. And, and geez, I got a little carried away. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Uh, <laughs> to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Cool. I should probably go ship. Outer Worlds Ventures. Founding Memories. Clockwise. Top. Hornfields. Gossen. Slate. Feldspur. Fur is weird. Oh, I didn't like the fact that it looked like the, the planets, or the moon, like, they were all just perfectly in line. And, like, if any media has taught me anything, it's that, uh, when planets are perfectly aligned, like, things tend to, like, explode, or doomsday. Oh my god, I want to look at all the things, but I want to get into spaces too. Let's go. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Um. Ah, there you are. Good to see you. An incredibly accurate wooden model. Wait, yeah, because you're... Gosh. <laughs> this game's great. There you are. Mm. Uh, there you are. We just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Why am I speaking like this? You know what? Let's let's keep going with it. you will be our first astronaut ever equipped with a, a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than, than ever to unravel the mysteries of the uh, Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Learn more about the no oh I I don't guess so much. <laughs> the the real answer is I'm gonna wing it. Um I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translate tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We barely scratch the self surface of the no my writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they originated here or travelled here or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like that's all the life to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any modification to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yay. I don't know what the launch codes are, but that's okay, because my pilot remembers. Um, that's, that's that. I'm um, trying to think of the translator. There in a game language. Although the, this text is linear, and I might no my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh. Cassava. We're nearly ready, Felix. Oh, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the outer lock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. 
Okay, so this isn't writing. And, okay. Okay, if I see it, it bring up an option. Alright, let's... Uh... <laughs> mm. Do they have goat eyes? I didn't notice that at first. It looks kind of like goat eyes. Fun fact, that was the first time you ever saw a non the gender. Yeah, you're right. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. So, did you get a good look at the Nomad statue? The statue looked at me and opens its eyes. <laughs> the statue was glowing. Uh, whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So, its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories glowing, lights flying around? You mean, like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking. No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if, if you're saying it happened, then... I guess maybe it did? But... <laughs> but why? Hanfils tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this has ever happened to them. Uh, yeah. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but... Uh, Gabro said that they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know... Gabro. So maybe you'd better off searching for your own info. You're on your own. Jeez. Now I'm really je jealous you're going off in space. Hey, see if uh, you can use our translator tool to find out more about that statue. Okay? Good luck. And safe line. The statue is weird. It has... I mean, you're right. It... It... Do... It, it, do we have... It does have for... I should not jump so precariously next to that. Is there a quick way for me to get back down? Hey, little cow, cow poke. Hello, us not. <laughs> Are you going to space today? Are you going to space? Never come back like a felsper did. Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Felsper said too, <laughs> but they never did. Oh no! I feel more will be sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes him to talk about Felsper. So, so you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. Uh. Um. Oh my god, I could've... Could I've gone up here. <laughs> Did I just bonk on the wall? Okay, yeah, I just bonk on the wall. Okay. So it had to... Alright, you... It's late. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna fix the autopilot points just for this one. Uh, sorry. Okay. Let's... Go! I'm gonna do my best to not betray the child's trust. Let's go to space! Let's suit up! Health and fuel. Nice. I love how cozy everything looks in this game. And also how dangerous everything looks. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree. Walk towards it. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. View ship log. Timber hearth. Rumor mode. Nomi, te the Nomi text in the observatory 
talks about calibrating some sort of a device on Alterok. Village. Explosions on this planet. Uh, opens his eyes. Yep. Timber Hearth used my Outer Wilds ventures to train new astronauts. Alright. Um, wait. Okay, that's just... that mode. Uh, Giant Steve. Gabbro. Alright, how do I pilot this? It's a crystal. Alright, buckle up. I, yeah, I love the rumor tree. Alright, left off, uh, landing camera. Unbuckle view map. Okay, cockpit view. Uh, do I have another? Okay, I had to just tilt the damn thing. Uh, did I bonk on something? Oh, I landed back on the planet. Oh, this is hell. I hate this. I thought I had escaped its gravity. Um, that's the sun. I think I want to... that sound, but let's... Um... Okay, well, I think what would help me... Put that away. Unbuckle. Look. Back over here, giant steep. Okay, so... Should be a bit for... Do I have a... Better map. Er, no, nah, it's just big. Alright. Oh, yeah, there's something there I could also examine. And it's orbiting Timber Hearth. Alright. I think we're gonna do Ultra Rock if I can find it. Okay, well, I also found Giant Deep. Oh, good, I'm flung off into space. Sun. Riddle. Giant Deep. Ah! Uh. Oh, wait, there's a view map. You are here. Interfield. Okay, that's where I'm going to walk on. Okay. Oh, there's a autopilot. Okay, yeah, you just need to be locked on. Alright, cool. Uh, 
Yeah, let's engage autopilot. Let's be smart about this. Landing mode. This isn't a total failure. Let's see here. Oh, I landed right on the Easter egg. I love this grandpa in his rocking chair. That for a moment I thought was a gamer chair. I'll pull out your to mark it. Okay, I didn't know how to mark it. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Damer chair. Yes. They'll solve more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and need more frequent repairs. Nowadays, mostly used to keep set eyes on things. Sometimes, Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, you know. <laughs> right back feels about unnecessarily unnecessary space flight. Don't go, uh, I mean, anything else? <laughs> Very funny. All stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> well, welcome to the Luna Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out, Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost, cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Timber Hearth, keeping an eye on things. Yeah, it's a little lonely up here. I'm in touch with ground control, hard fails, and Gosselin, mostly, and they radio up the chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not bad up here, really. It's At least it's peaceful quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. No. What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication. 
none of the villagers know about, because I never told them. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, and it just now knows the mini map. Neat. Which one needs the harmonica? Wait, didn't the person with the harmonica lose it? Sorry, we're not paying attention to chat. Just trying to be incredibly steady with the analog stick. Ah. Lock on. This would probably be easier from space now that I think about it. Like in my spaceship, if I was in orbit. Scary signal scope log. Still not picking up uh, Rablick's banjo from Brita Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I hear their music. 51. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Goslin their Florida is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Goodness. Oh, hi. Hi, Iris. How's it going? Uh, I got day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Librex doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Uh, day 61 or 63. Today I, I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. 70. Now it's, it's back again, too. Something strange has come from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but from the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like. Feldspur harmonica, but Feldspur disappeared in space ages ago. It, it can't be them. 88. It's it's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal cell's broken. I better talk to nice niece. Oh wait, was it? Uh, I thought that was Timber Hearth. Looks like Timber Hearth. What? 
is this sound. They're maracas. I think. Or maybe I'm going crazy. No, so someone has a drum. Oh, hey, Cass! Cheer on drums. Yeah, um... There's so much going on here. I forgot who has the oboe. Um... I know, did it... Um... Great. Oh, yes, there's supposed to be something that was supposed to be calibrated on here. And I... I should probably go back to my ship for, uh, oxygen. Flute is Gabra. Okay. Alright. Full supply again. Um, hmm. Dab. <laughs> Dab should be a real emoji. Um, let's look at the rumor tree. Um, some sort of device on. Okay, I'm I'm here. That's why I came here. Some weird alien device it's supposed to be calibrated here, but it's not. Crop of trees at the camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Yeah. Lookout platform with a spectacular view solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Hmm. They claim it's only just like Feldsberg Harmonica, but Feldsberg disappeared in space ages ago. Hmm. I... Let's see here. Debro. Yeah, this is all I've learned. I feel like I should go back to the other... I kind of want to poke down here again. Uh, I'm here. The what? The interloper. Hmm. Pretty hollow. Uh, the Hourglass Twins. Okay, I want to investigate here again. You've not discovered anything on the... What's a bug? This weird low-poly, uh... Spaceship? Um, spinning. I mean, it's nice, but I'm kind of afraid. Was the planet that, or the sun that red a moment ago? Oh, okay, the interloper. Okay, this is just nice music. Um. Hello. Hello. Um. Launch. Um. Uh, did... Mmm... Mmm... <laughs> <Later>. <laughs> Get fucked. 
You hate to see. You hate to see it. The sun going uh, supernova. Uh, hmm. And I know the launch codes. Oh shit. And yeah, it is really nice that you get to see everything from your life before. Uh. Did did I just die? <laughs> Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's negative on being deceased. I know it's a tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Yeah, I hate to see it, Rush. It just, uh... Bonk. Okay, I know the launch codes. I need... Rumors. No. I don't know, it's... I love how charming it is. Um... Banjo is a known aunt quantity. The harmonica, though. Wait, that would be in the zero-G place. I think. Uh... <laughs> Alright. Um... Wait. Um... Uh... Uh... Okay. Groundhog Day this. Gotta... Uh... What am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Yep, leaving today, Space Cadet, uh, instruments, drum, harmonica, alright, cool, 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 gotta, gotta, what am I trying to find, alright, I have my thing, I need a suit, did I have, nope, wacky idea, a spinal, Fish and run. Fish and run. Okay, I need to back off from that waterfall. Giant deeps, that's where I'd go. That is just too loud. Ah. I'm locking frantically so I'm give me the fish, I'm back. It's also just the sound of the waterfall, since I can't affect the volume of that. It's just... it's bad for everyone. Hey, you know. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Costa said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. Just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still Ghost Matter in this village when I'm a grown up. Ghost Matter is awesome. Ghost Matter is super cool. It'll burn you the heck out of you. Yes! <laughs> I heard that it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? It sounds super bad painful. Um. Camera. Okay, that's from The Rock. Uh, brain. What do I want? What do I want? I want the suit. Hey, Goslin. Kidden, I'm a natural, this. <laughs> I recall the first time we strapped on the jetpack, we had to come fishing out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen, there's a satellite. Yes, uh, one satellite paired coming up. Cool. Uh, I want a suit, because I have a weird idea. Right, Muse, I did come back. Pokemon Snap. Hey. Also, I I think I want to jump into the geyser with a spacesuit on. Because if anything should help me not die, it should be a spacesuit with oxygen. I hope. 
Let's go. <laughs> ah. Did I take it off? Son of a... <laughs> take it that was... Oh, I should have... looked for it down there, actually. That would make more sense. Let's go... Yeah, you can't take one from the cave. I was like, ah. Like, haha, no one would stop me, right? No, they, they very much won't stop you. Um, uh, am I wearing the suit? Um, did it bug out? Okay. Okay, I love that sound, but it's not what I'm looking for. It was somewhere... Esker with the drums. Do they make different music, depending on when the planets align? Oh, that's cool. I was hoping it would do the scan thing. I'm guessing I'm not close enough. Uh Great fine, don't look fine. Uh the cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Okay. Uh Monica's right in front of the source to scan something. Ah. Okay, it's somewhere over there. Bonk. Okay. Hey, Wesker. Wesker. Where <gasps> is there another part of the planet? Okay, I feel uh, I feel like I'm wasting time. Gotta get out, do the thing. Are there more caverns? Okay, no. Oof. Let's go. Ah, okay, this... <laughs> Later. Oh, hello, Astronaut. 
This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Ah, uh, what are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds uh, Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Ripex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on the time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Equip. Am I hearing the... What am I looking at? It's so far away, but I thought you're supposed to be hearing it from. What is that? I know it's another planet, but I thought the uh, harmonica was supposed to be coming from this planet. Uh, I created up on Earth and figured I'd go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, but just don't break it while I'm gone. Alright. Let's also poke that a bit. East. No my runes. Geyser Mountain. Oh. This was the creator actually talking about. I feel like I'm wasting. Oh, I'm still exploring. Well, I guess I can go check that out. Alright, let's go to lunch. Yeah, that's true. Everything. It's not like I'm purposely wasting time. You know, just gotta puzzle things out. I wish I had my jetpack, though. <laughs> hey. Hey, look at this. The statue opens his eyes. Bet you wish you'd see it happen. Huh? Uh, yeah, me too. I'm not even a little bit close to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? Tell me about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate, the engineer, and me. As ground control and later museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slade and Gossin did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test pilot everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, even what whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Uh, 
Um, yeah. Yeah, they're still open. Things are good. Okay, the light was making its eyes look weird. Didn't like that. <laughs> What's found to explore the first reach to our solar system? Intentionally, intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Tipper Earth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, Artalok. Okay, I think it's time to press the wrong button. Okay, there's pieces missing. Aside from the dwelling structures they built, the now my also made art. This decorated poetry, uh, poetry, pottery was discovered on Brit uh, Brittle Hollow. Some ancient no uh, no my art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the now my originally elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the now my born in our solar system? Or were they born among among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xeno-archaeological expeditions. Can I scan? Okay. Let's bump. Unintentional launches in space aren't counted. Bones. Bony bones. Yep. What you see here are parts of the now my skeleton. We can tell from the from the skulls they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The now my body was likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the now my's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone <laughs> bone structure, tells us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nalmanian ancestors. It's not clear where the now my originated from or why they disappeared. We have to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. And I hope my little reading voice going country dinner isn't hard to understand. Also, yeah, I need a let me actually examine this better. It looks like I see the diamond structure on it. And it Looks kind of like a grail or something. Also, I just love the idea that... I uh, so they don't have thick bones to withstand explosions like us. Like, how could how could we have evolved from them <laughs> to weak? <laughs> but now my, um, no, my technology brought... Uh, back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds adventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capacity that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has drastically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. And it looks more like a, a spaceship that we'd have. Uh, this crystal was taken from Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was likely used to transport steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh. Okay. Wall running, parkour. Um, oh, what's this? What's this little friend? Um, this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. It. It's the little friend. Orb. 
Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, Adderlock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Okay, so we can tell where the moon is from this. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I think that is one of the wall crystals in the ship. A strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. This level-headed Among Us have realized that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims a rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate argue the effect is extremely creepy. Do I have a... So it's technically... Oh! Hello. Da 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 da. Huh. Wow. Can't make it. Come on. Uh, ah, there you go. Weird. Uh, the music is getting intense. Oh. Stunned like light and heat by fusing hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen starts to contract. Yep. <laughs> As the star core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called supernova. Based on Chirrut's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Damn. If. Damn. Well, I, I, I tried to do some learn, tried to do some investigating. Also, my phone is angry at me that it has low power. Power. Yeah, this is real good. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> it makes your first playthrough feel like floundering about, but you kind of have to learn the ropes. Also, excuse me for a sec. All right, uh, let's fucking go. <laughs> I think, um, I could lift. I think I forgot the direction of where I want to head. Then again, I can just try, uh, for a ridding, I think. Ship log. Luna ruins. Device. Lunar lookout. Keep tabs on the other travelers. I still haven't found this lunar lookout. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to time it like that, but that was good. Um. On the signal, somewhere on Timber Hearth, they claim it sounds like the Feldman's harmonica, but they disappeared ages ago. I think I want to go in orbit around the planet, and also I love just a bunch of wood, uh, what looks like a heater and a gravity crystal.
Can I land there safely? But I still don't have a, a good gauge of about like how big my ship is. But let's let's go. I didn't die. <laughs> Wait, while I'm here, I can just uh. <laughs> um, let me uh, get that back. Okay. All right, I landed. <laughs> so what are we doing tonight, brain? <laughs> what do we do every night. No way. Oh wait, someone... Oh yeah, someone w came here to investigate it. And it's a plant. Okay. Hey, old Hatchin. Thought you were taking the tin can of yours in space today. What you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon. I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures. My little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over and over here and take a look. Uh, so what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not like anything I've seen on Timber Earth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you know? Do you think it's extraterrestrial? I, it kind of looks like something that might have come off a uh, dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down its roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchlin, and that's a fact. I think I'll set... Marl and Howl loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than, than the tree keeper can. I have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anyone uh, to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launch over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. Anyway, I'm not gonna blindly stick my hands into anything that looks unpleasant if that seat does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Uh, don't I? Do I not have a launcher? I have one on the ship. You want your ship when you leave your ship. You want your spaceship. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot to bring that with me. Whoops. That makes all the sense in the world. Uh, where is it? Suit up. That could have been real bad. Test the environment. Detect hazard. Huh. Super out beyond the horizon. Let's photo mode. Ah, cool. Launch scout. What? Duplicate signal. Uh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> uh. mm, I don't like the the look of that. Looks like a skeleton. You. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, wait, my scout is... Error duplicate signal scout. 29.4 kilometers? Do they have, uh... Yeah, they have prosthetic foot. Didn't notice. Uh... Uh... Uh, 
Ah, uh, you did, did you? You tell me that it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? <laughs> this is gonna be a chore to chop up and make, and no mistake. Uh, can you even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe it'd be <laughs> better grab an axe or three just in case. Uh... I'm picking up the harmonica from there. Only harmonica player I know is Filtzfer. They disappeared ages ago. Listen here, don't go telling Ness about that harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has any musical talent. <laughs> is now only 800 oh oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 god exact opposite way to try to see if it's where I think it's Where am I doing? Okay. Okay. Everything is fine. Dark Bramble. Okay. Scout. Duplicate signal. Okay. Okay. Uh... I like nothing about the looks of Dark Bramble. Uh... Ah, <sighs> uh, let's... Go... Is there any way for me to land? There's a neat little guy to tell you. Uh, can I land on that? Mm, I don't think I can. I'm not sure. I hate to look. Yeah, yeah, I hate to see it, folks. Let's get a P 
peek at this horrid Okay. That was lovely. Um, why do you think you can't... Oh, can't what? Uh, land on the thing? Um, want to use Scout Launcher? Aim at the seed. I launch my little scout and see, and somehow the seed is bigger on the inside. Someone in the dark bramble. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't know. I thought I would land at the center of the damn thing, and I was like, oh, probably kill me. Well, then again. Uh, off. Let's try it. This feels like a bad idea. Uh. I don't wanna... <laughs> I actually have my eyes closed. Ah, oh, this is the... I hate this, 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 I hate this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Uh... Okay, that isn't too awful so far. I think. I think I see something. And, uh... I see a light. don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of any of this. Mmm. I was hoping to find a harmonic. Oh. I found harmonica. See, this, this begs the question, what's playing the harmonica? Also, I'm about to be impaled by a giant space thorn. That's... that's a question. Uh, uh, ah, <laughs> no! <laughs> ah. There's a... there's a space... there's a space... fish. There's a... oh no. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't help that it's, uh, late at night over here. I was gonna nerf <laughs> But, uh, my phone is complaining to me about, uh, almost dying. So... <laughs> I think this will be a pretty good space, not space, uh, place to stop for now. And also, yeah, that changes direction from where it gets launched. Hmm. Hmm. Dark Ramble, the fuck off, no, never planet. Yeah, no, it's a fuck off, no, never planet. Reset loop, quit main menu. Yes. 
Oh my goodness, that was great. Also terrifying, because uh, I love marine biology. But also, a lot of marine biology freaks, tends to freak me out. Especially if it's in a game and it specifically wants to hurt you. <laughs> so it's a combination of being mu multiple creepy things at once, of being weird fog, space angler, and just seeing the the angle just pop out of you, just like, oh no. I go, no, it's happening. <laughs> the worst case scenario. Ah, uh, but, yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. This is fantastic, and thank you again, Jazz, for introducing me to it. Ah, can't wait to play more of this. And to get scared, because evil angler. Oh my goodness. But, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream out. Stream now, not meow. And thanks again for watching, and, yeah, gosh, this is great. Yeah.